Since the beginning of February, three incidents of kidnapping and robbery have been reported to the South African Police Services in Grahamstown. This morning at the Grahamstown Magistrate Office, two men appeared before the court for abduction and robbery. These men are closely linked to the abduction of Rhodes University students. One of the accused pleaded guilty to these charges. The other decided to abandon bail. This Rhodes University student was kidnapped off of High Street during Rhodes University Orientation Week in February. He wishes to remain anonymous. I have no cash. They saw my bank card and they were like, let's go to the ATM, we need cash. That's when I told them that I don't have money in this card. That's when they made me call my mother and then I called my mom and then I called my other uncle. My uncle put the money. When he deposited the money, we went to the ATM. I took the money out, gave them to the van. They gave me back my phone. We are really not by boat. Maybe they should like intensify the security out of campus as well, because they have students out of campus. This anonymous source claims he has insight into how these robberies are organized. They took the money that he was going to buy, that non-existent two kgs of uh, marijuana. And then I saw these guys again on New Street. They always traveled in a pair, pulling similar stunt with yet another unsuspecting victim. These incidents have been linked to a wider drug scare in Grahamstown. Opidan students, students living off campus, are at a higher risk regarding safety and security. Opidan subwarden Leroy Maiseri explains the safety regarding these students. Opidan students beyond campus rely on, on themselves. They, they are treated like, I guess, any other community member. There are no safety mechanisms that are offered. Rhodes University Director of Student Affairs sent a statement to the student body regarding incidents involving students. Management has been unavailable for further comment on the abduction incidents. The case has been postponed to the 22nd of May, but the two still remain in custody. Sisi Ponsabo, RUTV, Grahamstown.